for clues, missing people and criminals, there are two canines with the local county sheriff's office who are looking to get a better and more comfortable ride when going to scenes. Now it comes with a hefty price tag, but news Street reporter Julio Avila tells us what one woman is doing to help them out. This car is these guys' ride. <laughs> And if we had to guess what he's saying, he'd probably be telling us that the Gloucester County Sheriff's K-9 unit needs a larger vehicle. And Diane Jones and agrees. I noticed that he had um, a very crowded vehicle. He had one dog initially, and then they added the other dog, and it was, it was just ridiculous to see all the stuff he had to put in the car. So Jones is taking dogs. action. She started a GoFundMe to help raise $60,000 so Deputy Philip Lutz, the sheriff office's canine handler, can get a larger vehicle for their operations. I felt as though the community would rally around the goal, and it seems to be doing that now. Originally, the vehicle was only designed, as Diane pointed out, for one dog. And when we added the, the second dog to expand uh, the sheriff's office capabilities that, you know, it just wasn't planned for that in the beginning. Now, just to give you an idea of how big their current car really is, it's in the back seat right here where the two canines uh, would go. And if you take a look at their trunk, this is all the equipment that they load up. It's a process when you want to get something out. So far, the GoFundMe has raised over $1,600, a long way from the $60,000 goal. Even if they don't reach that goal, all the money raised would still go towards a new vehicle, but they'll still be using this one for about two more years because of office policy. Gloucester has 30,000 residents around, and if each of them gave only $2, it would be done in a minute. We appreciate it beyond, beyond all recognition. And we'll have the GoFundMe link on WTKR.com if you'd like to contribute. In Gloucester, Julio Avila, News 3.